Here's one. Okay, here's one on Deante, Gavin. Cuban yeah. wants to know, does Aquinas skip a step in the argument towards ipsum essay subsistence? Could God be an act of existence as opposed to being itself? In mm -hmm. other words, a being whose essence is identical to its own existence, but not existence as such. So it sounds like, yeah, maybe there's yeah. just going to be multiple yeah. beings who are identical yeah. to existence. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean, the, the, this has come up recently as a sort of... Uh, an understanding or an imputed understanding of what Aquinas thinks about existence and the act of existence. So um, to, to just get Aquinas's position right, there is no individual act of existence that a thing enjoys. Okay, so there is, so the, there is no individual act of existence that a thing enjoys. There is only an individuated act of existence, which individuation occurs after just the act of existence is composed with the thing's essence. So prior to the thing, there is just existence or essay. And then when the thing is brought into existence or existence is granted to it, individuation occurs. So it's not individual act of existence, but individuated mm -hmm. act of existence. So that being the case, um, if there is just essay and not an individual essay, if we have something whose essence is identical to essay, then it is essay itself. It's not identical to an individual act of essay. It is just identical to essay itself because there is no individual um, act of existence. Acts of existence are individuated by the thing whose acts they are. Yeah. Excellent. Very clear. Good response, Gavin. Thank you for clearing that up for us. And I would just point out that um, at no point um, in the De Ante um, does Aquinas talk about an individual act of existence. At no point. He doesn't even talk about an individuated act of existence in the De Ante. It's elsewhere.